Living and non-living things. Hi, I am Cullen, and I am your cute little guy who has an extraordinary love for wildlife and everything about our world. Join me as we explore the beauty of biodiversity. Look around. What do you see? A collection of beautiful things. Some are small or tall, some vary in sizes and colors. What a wonderful world it is. With animals, plants, and humans living peacefully. What a wonderful world it is, where living and non-living exist. That's how blessed we are to have it. Now, can you distinguish living things and non-living things? Living things need food, water, and air. They also move by themselves, respond to changes, reproduce, and remove their waste. Whereas non-living things do not have life, they do not need food, air, and water. They do not grow, move by themselves, respond to changes, and reproduce. Living things differ from non-living things in terms of characteristics and forms. Yes, we can distinguish them by their ability to move, reproduce, and even respond to changes. Amazing, aren't they? Now, look behind me to spot the forms and characteristics of different animals and plants. A fish swims in the pond. Look at those birds singing from their nets. Plants and butterflies join to interact with each other too. I am happy that you are able to know what living things look like. Now we will identify the things that do not have life. Because they do not have life. Non-living things do not need food, air, or water to function and last just like this magnifying glass. I will use this to have a clearer view of the soil on the land. How about this cap? Yes, it is useful and cool, and it is a non-living thing. Unlike living things, non-living things will never grow. They may increase in size, but only when something adds to their size. Look at my backpack, it will never grow on its own. Now that you can understand living and non-living things, let's explore the zoo more.